Mike McLaren here, Better Vacuum Cups at the AWFS show. Our two new products this year are the SCM cup, which has a removable top, and if you route into it, we can just throw in the foam gasket. This is a very good cup for the SCM because the other ones are made out of aluminum and they're expensive, very inexpensive replacement cup for the SCM. Then we have a flat table cup that goes on the spoil board, directly on the spoil board. We can then hold the cup secure and place your part and then we can transfer the vacuum to the top of the cup. So these are our two new products this year. They're selling very well and we can see these cups in action just down the road there at the Laguna booth. Hi, my name is Zach Fawcett. I work for Aikens Machinery's Division of Worth Bear. Uh, I am the uh, Ganimat salesman for the, our sales manager for the West Coast. Uh, and I'm here today with our Express S2 hinge insertion machine. So a lot of people think that the mini press is the only way to drill and insert hinges, but this machine here drills and inserts two hinges from underneath in five seconds. So a bloom or mini press, you know, uh, any mini press that you find, uh, it takes about 45 seconds and what you have to do is you're drilling from the top you're blowing it out putting the hinge in and pressing it down all that time you're facing your door is down on the on the surface because you're drilling from the top but this machine it drills from underneath so it keeps the face of your door clean and then when you're coming in turning on both heads drilling and inserting so this drills and inserts from underneath. So you can come in with the drilling and insertion station. And that's two hinges in five seconds. This is Eric Weber at the Black Brothers Company, introducing our new piece of equipment, the panel assist stacker. The purpose of this piece of equipment is to eliminate our operator from stacking panels onto the scissors lift. I'm gonna turn this conveyor on. As it is being laminated, it needs to be stacked so you can source it to another piece of equipment. This eliminates an operator from needing to come back here and stack it. There's four suction cups on this stacker that'll descend after it reaches a sensor at a certain point. The suction cups will go down, pick the laminated material up, and another cylinder will bring it back into place. It'll let go of the panel, go back up, go back into its resting position for another panel to be supplied. Hello, my name is Vanessa. Um, I'm with Mocket. I'm the marketing coordinator here. And here we have our Visionary Awards finalist, our Oceanic Drawer Pool, um, the DP307. What makes this part really special is that it's made out of post-use recycled materials from the maritime industry. So things like fishing nets, fishing wires, trawls, ropes, things like that. Um, yeah, so this is it. It's a really modern silhouette and as of now it only comes in one color but it's really good for any type of interior it starts at $7.95 I believe um, we do have tier pricing as well so yeah if you're looking for a modern budget-friendly eco-friendly hardware this is it Hi, I'm Jeff with Dust Collector Services out of Anaheim California and we're here representing Boss products they do explosion prevention explosion protection equipment Gonna start off over here. This is called the Vita Flap. It is an explosion isolation valve. What it is designed for is in the event of a positive pressure incident in the dust collection system. So an explosion, you have your explosion vents that would relieve the pressure and the vessel itself, but that flame front which is propagating back through the ductwork into the process equipment. This positive pressure incident will slam shut and keep that fire or deflagration point back into the building, back into the process equipment where all your dust or all your machinery is located. This next item is what's called a flameless vent. I mentioned protecting the dust collector with explosion vents. Well, if the dust collector needs to be located indoors or in a location that may be hazardous to personnel, you would put the flameless vent over the explosion vent. 
And this is basically like a catch's mitt in a sense for the explosion. If there's ever that explosion, the vent bursts or ruptures, and all that dust then, the explosion fire front, is captured in this by metal mesh cube with layers and layers and layers of that product. So it protects the worker, the environment, and everything around the general area. In the event of not being able to use a flameless vent, this is called a blast detector. This is the explosion vent again that I mentioned earlier. This one again will rupture, we leave the pressure in the vessel or the dust cluster itself. But that flame front would come straight out this way. In a sense, it would come up this way, be directed upward in a safe manner to avoid any person, personnel or walking space. So uh, soil safety is a big discussion uh, these days and at the Felder Group we are making incredible advancements there. Uh, we just recently released or uh, upgraded two of our existing models uh, of sliding table saws. We um, released and we relaunched the Capital 450 uh, machine and also our 900 series saws. Uh, these machines are our workhorses and very well known machines in the industry and uh, we have wanted to sold over the years, uh, but over and above the price of those models, we have now also added our PCS source safety system to those machines. So now in the past, when in our format 4 range, uh, the price point for that source safety system was a little on the higher end uh, for the bigger customers. Now we've been able to bring that safety and the system into our more economically priced machines. So it's very exciting for us to launch uh, the PCS system also on our 900 series and couple of 400 ranges. Um, so those are some of the new exciting things that we're doing this year here at Valley Group. Hello, my name is Adam Verse. I'm with Jordina Group. This is uh, day three of AWFS 2023, and we have brought our paper belt spray machine uh, to the show to demonstrate a paper belt system. Our machine has two reciprocating arms, a high ceiling to control the overspray, and two levels of filtration within the booth to keep your outgoing air clean. This machine practically can finish between 40 square foot a minute to 60 square foot a minute of product continuously. It comes off the back of the machine, it can be racked or it can be followed with a drying oven based on length and production to meet your needs. This machine comes with some unique options in the industry for a machine this size. We offer inverter control on the supply fan and the exhaust fan to give you more longevity on the filter media. And we have our dual fast system that is available only through Jardina so that we can have as many as four circuits on the machine that are dedicated and clean. So as I'm using a circuit to spray black and I want to start to split, spray white, I simply would change the guns on the machine with another bank of guns, bring these over, plug them into this convenient cleaning system, and flush the guns. Hi, I'm Andrew Stokely with Hardware Resources. Welcome to AWFS. Let me show you around a little bit. So this is our powered vanity drawer that we have. It's up for an AWFS Visionary Award uh, here at the show. It's a great product. It comes fully contained. Uh, basically, all you need to do is put a drawer front on the front of it. It comes with slides. It comes with a uh, cable management arm in the back and a three-foot pigtail to easily plug in. The nice thing is it actually shuts the power off when you close the drawer, so you don't have to worry about any overheating issues if an appli hair appliance might be left on, which is, re which is really great. It's been a, uh, we've gotten great feedback on it, and uh, customers that have taken initial possession of them really love them. So uh, we've also got a variety of other uh, base pullouts for the vanity. Um, we, we offer that uh, with and without grooming inserts, which is great. Um, we also have um, uh, vanity drawer inserts, as well as uh, popular, uh, this was a new addition to our uh, existing wood, bo wood bottom mount line that's a uh, shortened depth that fits in vanities, also fit underneath kitchen islands, various places where you need a reduced depth type unit. Size with all of the same advanced features for the 
also comes with a brand new software that is much more interactive and uh, makes it easier for uh, production to be monitored as well as maintenance. Um, this machine in particular has a 12 position vertical mooring spindle with six horizontal. We have two uh, tool racks, one with 14 tool positions, the other with 12. Greasing on this machine, uh, pendulum processing, uh, electric spindle 12 horsepower, high techo, uh, integrated dust collection shut off. So when the machine's sitting idle, we're not wasting CFM in your plant. The drill head and electric spindle are both. Uh, separated so when we're drilling we're focusing our dust collection just on the drilling operation when we're routing we are focusing the dust collection just on the routing operation our new software easy to go the operator's full control of the machine with intuitive troubleshooting very good descriptions of what possible issues we might have to minimize downtime hi i'm chris i'm the u.s lamello product manager at colonial saw so uh, what we're talking about here at the AWFS show is the, the new cordless version of the Zeta P2 and the Clamex S20. So the cordless version of the Zeta is just that. It uses the CAS battery platform. And uh, just a quick demonstration, using a, a profiled cutter and the vertical mechanical drive, it makes a specialized slot. So now with this slot, the P-System family of connectors slides into that pocket. This one's called Tenso, designed to work with glue. Mating half, so miters, complicated joinery, really easy. Then the other new product we're introducing is the Clamex S20, which basically works on the same principle, except that it uses a four millimeter wood biscuit slot, has a little internal cam lock. So using any wood biscuit joiner, you can make knockdown assembly and clamp joints really easily. Hi, I'm Aaron Carroll with Guffy Systems, showing off some of our new products here um, in Las Vegas. One of the things that we're excited to show off is our spindle hanger. So we now have a hanger that you can hang spindle-shaped products on, and instead of having to rotate the entire car to get all sides, you can individually rotate as, you're, as you spray. And a couple of the other new products we're showing, we've now got um, car spacers. So if you, need, if you need to hang something thicker than just a simple panel, you can now use something like this and hang drawer boxes or anything else that has some thickness to it. And then we also have a new heavy duty version of our car for the most industrial of our customers um, that really just demand the absolute strongest thing they can get uh, in, their, in their pivot line. Welcome to the Koch booth here at AWFS. 2023. Today we will introduce to you our new peanut insertion machine. Um, I would like to give you a demonstration if you could move through uh, to, to have a look at the, the, the parts. What we're going to do is drill and insert the new peanut um, into, into the board. And Peanut has now been drilled and inserted. We take it to the female holes and join the, the parts together. This can be done for drawer fronts, cabinets, uh, uh, drawer boxes, uh, any of your, uh, your RTA requirements. Hi, my name is Rich Black. I'm with Krausberger North America and um, we're here at the show introducing our new rapid trigger air valve technology. So how fast can we trigger a spray gun? 
And the idea is um, it's introduced in both our Duo, our new Air Assist Airless A22 spray gun, as well as our very compact, small micro XS spray gun. Um, so with the new technology, we're, our goal is to be able to save material. And with that, normally when you trigger a spray gun, you have to trigger before you get to the part. So once you trigger the gun, so there's a lot of material waste there. So our, with our new technology, we can trigger the spray gun very close to the part and get a full fan pattern almost immediately and get the efficiency that we need. Hi, my name is Josh Brown. I'm the Senior Product Manager for Marine Johnson. Today what we're demonstrating is our 1101 dovetailer with a Fanuc CRX-10 collaborative robot. What we're doing today is demonstrating the capabilities of the robot to pick and place as it's loading this machine uh, to do both mortise and tendon joints. Uh, we're using a dual end vacuum gripper which allows us to pick the part without damage as it moves between each of the locations. Uh, the 1101 dovetailer uh, in a normal application will be doing uh, various spacings on, on your tenon joints for your own personal application. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about this, please contact Maureen Johnson. Hi, I'm DJ and we're at the Mola Tools booth here in Vegas. Two years ago we launched the High Speed Cyclone Dust Collector, a single piece cyclone and dump bin base with a rigid PVC connection into the vacuum that you cut to fit to the inlet height of your vac. Within a couple of minutes, you've got a truly mobile solution that you can roll around the shop, connecting to all your tools that are all your stations, and capturing over 99% of debris up front, keeping that shop vector clean and that suction strong. And at this show, we're launching the third hand dust collection boom arm, allowing you to get pinpoint targeted dust collection at all those hard to reach areas, scroll saws, drill presses, lays, anywhere where you can't easily get a hose to have suction happen all the time. And you can connect this boom arm to our Cyclone directly into a shop vac with the accessory base and you can even mount it to a workbench top so that you've got that hose as a hose drop, hose connection, up out of the way for sanding, routing, track saws, really anything that where you have that hose can be a nuisance and can snag on the edge of the work surface or of whatever you're working on on top of that, on top of that workbench. Hello, I'm Tim Owens with Next Wave CNC. And today we're going to go over one of our newest products, the RS-1000 Pro. This is a, what we did is took this, uh, took our CNC technology and put it into the router table. The big thing we're trying to achieve here is basically have a safe system that has virtually zero time setup because it can have simple touch-offs with uh, using a touch plate, both going touching off the bit from here and moving it to the fence and having it come across, you would have the top and the side of the bit very quickly, usually within 30, 45 seconds. Then the router table doesn't become something that is a drudgery to set up, it actually becomes very easy. Using simple controls, I can bring it forward to a rough location if that works, or I can directly type in heights and positions I would like it to be. There's a, This can be used as a normal router table. It has the ability to save up to 24 different positions so that you're able to uh, do a different setup and layout that's here. So if you have people that have come to the table and do quick change outs, you don't have that problem of setting up something that might be mid-run. The other thing is where it really starts to get exciting is when you are getting into the app. So you can do dados on this, you can do half-blind dovetails, box joints, all are done with a, a preview and a visualization. So if I was doing a dado, I would say how wide it is, I would say how, what is an offset, and then how high, and all we do is run the program, and it would automatically set it up for you. So you don't have to do a lot of time to be able to do what you're trying to achieve with the first position. Pedal 
Hello, I'm Scott with Oneida Air Systems. We're at the AWFS today here in Las Vegas. And I want to tell you about the Supercell. We have our Supercell, works great for single dust ports. You got a four inch all the way to one inch. And then we came out with the Turbo that add, added a fourth motor to give you a little bit more airflow, 20% more airflow for like table saws. They might have a four inch port and a two and a half up above gives you that more airflow you need on those table saws. Hi there, this is Kyle Robinson with Paintline and just wanted to show you our new interior door spray and dry series that uh, we just came out with in the last few weeks. Um, what we're trying to do here is to efficiently paint interior doors and the way we're going about that is we're attaching a plastic base to the bottom of the door with a wood screw as well as attaching a V-clip at the hinge pocket of the door. And once we have that, we can transfer the door onto a turntable that's gonna let us paint the entire door from a single position. This, we put it on two spikes at the bottom of the turntable and then we slide it over to a vertical support. <clears throat> the door doesn't want to fall this way, it wants to fall this way. So that's where this support comes in and the spikes just keep it in position and it keeps it from uh, shielding the bottom edge so we can paint the entire bottom of the door and all the sides of it. So from here, we'd have our spray gun, we would go through the painting process. Once the door's completed, then the challenge becomes we're going to remove a wet door off of the turntable without touching it. So that's where we have these tools. So we're going to enter the doorknob hole here. And then on this side, we go to the V-clip, we slide it back away from the post, and then turn it. And now we've got complete control over the door. And we can go place it and nest it with other doors if we want. Uh, it works not only with hollow core doors, but also solid doors. It's just a matter of how much can you comfortably lift. Um, the turntable will handle far more than somebody's going to be able to lift. All of this comes, uh, breaks down into two carry bags. So you can easily take it out to a job site or store it in your shop. Um, goes together with uh, virtually no tools in minutes. And uh, the standard offering is for 20 doors. Uh, we also allow you to buy additional accessories for 10 doors at a time. So you can do up to you know 100 doors if you want. So I'm Nick Leonard from State of Woodsco and I'm a Phantom CNC dealer. We're at a AWF show and we're unveiling our new 4x4 ATC from Phantom CNC. This is a 12 horsepower spindle on top of a four foot by four foot frame. It's got an eight linear tool changer. The thing that sets us apart are these pneumatic rollers. These pneumatic rollers are designed to hold your work pieces down tight to the table. All of our machines come with a vacuum ready setup right here. You've got multiple zones, four different zones on the front of your vacuum table. These machines all run on single phase 220. This one in particular runs off of a 50 amp breaker. So this can go in any one shop or garage. Um, it's a heck of a unit. It can run at 1,000 inches a minute cut time. Typically, most people are gonna cut anywhere from 400 to five, 600 inches a minute. Um, rapids can be up as high as 3,000 inches a minute. We usually tailor it down to about 1,600. So this machine has a ton of power and it will ex insanely fly if you needed it to. And what we're introducing at the show is brand new to the industry. And it's a machine to do a really, really tight inside radiuses all the way down to 7 sixteenths of an inch, which nobody in the industry can do. And this machine's designed for open-ended parts, so it will not create the seam like we saw on the other machine. From an operator standpoint, step on the foot pedal. And 
This right here is a 716 inside radius. And after he's done banding it, he's gonna swing it around and he's gonna trim it top and bottom. And this machine's gonna hit the market at $49,000. And it's designed specifically for people in the cabinet and the uh, closet industry. So hi, my name is Tony McCauley. I represent Superfici America. We are a manufacturer of premium end uh, uh, coating uh, equipment. We uh, have application and drying. What we're standing in front of right now is our Superfici mini spray machine, single arm. The mini has the capacity to run one to three meters per minute. It delivers fluid by means of our four application heads, which move back and forth in a reciprocating pattern. The part goes underneath the heads. It's read in front by the photo eye reader, which indicates to the machine where the part is located on the line. It then sprays around that part to ensure that we get proper coating on the edges. From there, it gets delivered into a flash oven. This is our uh, laminar oven. What this does is it off allows the off-gassing of the part and the paint to be evacuated off the paint so that the paint levels out and gets prepared for a cure. We move from the flash oven into our curing oven. Curing oven is done by means of an infrared wavelength that penetrates the coating, bounces back up off the substrate to initiate the cure from the bottom up. This can be done in a various means. Our current system right now that we're showing here is done by means of catalytic IR, which is powered by gas or by propane, or it can be done by means of an electronic IR. My name is Ford Moon. I'm a product engineer at Time Savers, responsible for new products at Time Savers, as well as our Time Savers Automation Group. Today we have a show a solution we're showcasing here at the AWFS Fair down in Las Vegas that consists of a collaborative robot taking parts off of a cart or pallet and feeding them into a staging conveyor assembly, which then processes the parts through a planer sander. Here's the staging table. This is the Time Savers planer sander which consists of first the planing head, which can plane the materials down approximately to an eighth inch or quarter inch of material removal, a drum head for taking out the scratches that may exist from the planing process, and then a combination sanding head to create that final finish to a finished product at the output of the machine. The way the machine would normally operate would be an operator to feed parts in at the infeed, and then an operator would take parts out at the outfeed. So it's usually a two-man operation to run this kind of machine. But with this Time Savers Automation Solution, we can turn it into one guy operation. Let me demonstrate how. Hi there, I'm Lucas with Vortex Tool Company and today I want to talk about our MDF door kit. We make an insert style MDF door kit that consists of four different tools. Our first tool is what we call an outside door edge profile. This tool is used to cut out the door and put on an outside door edge. As you can see, there's two different profiles here, just a simple radius and then the more decorative profile on this one. The nice thing about our toolkit is that this insert tool body will accept six different profile inserts. So it allows you to offer multiple different profiles with simply, by, by simply replacing the insert blades. You don't need to buy an, a whole new cutter body. Another tool that comes in the kit is what we call an inside roughing profile. So this profile will rough out your inside style and rail profile here. Again, this tool body accepts multiple different profiles, which allows you to, again, offer more of a selection for your customers by simply 
replacing the inserts. The next tool will be the inside corner cleaning tool. As you can see, this tool has a very small tip diameter, which allows you to run it on the inside again, cleaning up these inside corners, leaving a much more square corner. Gives it more of a traditional five-piece door look. The last tool in the four-piece kit is the panel cutting tool. This tool will cut this panel profile and again, some of those tool bodies except multiple different inserts to just give you more options to offer your customers.